Hi guys. It is still November 17. Oh, no. It is now November 17. It's 12.09 a.m. I want to read some comments about the fires and winter storm Avery. When did they start naming winter storms? I'm from the Northeast. I don't remember our storms having names. The information is from subscribers who live in in California. I don't want to give out any information that may identify some, well, certainly not from the email that I got because I did not give uh, get permission. So I'm going to be very careful in that read, but I also want to read what was sent to me, and I want to thank everybody for sending me information, those of you who live in California, information regarding these fires. This is really very... It's on... Is it Vimeo? Is that how you pronounce this site? There's a video. And a message to Q from somebody who lost everything in the fire. This I can't verify. I don't know the the YouTuber and I don't know the person who is sending this message that is being read into a video which I will link to and you can listen to the full video. But I do want to read a few paragraphs. The campfire was a pre-planned event. I saw activity in the community of Paradise that gave me the sinking feeling that something was going to occur. I even told my daughter the week previous that something was going to happen. Capstone Company needs to be completely investigated. Now, I have not done any research on Capstone, but Capstone is a familiar name so, any of you want to get working on doing the research on Capstone, that would be a big help. Capstone Company needs to be completely investigated. I was told they were contracted by PG&E and working in the area for a couple of weeks previous to the event. I saw strange things during the fire being done by this company. Certain houses surrounded by fire trucks. Um, up the street, people burned alive in their cars. I think what this person is saying is there were fire trucks that were up surrounding houses as people up the street were burned alive. On top of that, the town of Paradise turned the water off, which prevented firemen from doing their jobs. The third day, Cal Fire called and demanded the water be turned on. The third day? Many years ago, we discovered that approximately 75% of the hydrants are blanks. They're just hydrants that are not connected to any water source source at all. I lost everything I owned to this fire. Most of the town did. Many people lost their lives trying to escape. I have lived in this town since eighty four and have never and have seen some of the worst fire seasons on record. This was not a regular fire. The wind was not blowing like they claim except in the vicinity of the fire itself. There are roads with every house burnt to the ground, but garbage cans standing perfectly untouched in the street between the burnt houses. In the weeks before, many of the retirement and com convalescent homes had drills, evacuation drills. They made sure that each person had a bag packed with three days of clothes and meds 
which stayed packed and ready after the drill. There is so much more to share, but there is no one here trustworthy to talk to. There's more. Click on the link below to listen to this video. I want to read some of this email that I got not disclosing where this person works, how their position working for the state, and they trying to wake a friend up who finally, due to the fires and information sent to him, on Agenda 2030, he finally woke up. But this subscriber says that they have a friend who is, whose father is a veteran fireman and he was sent to the fire and when he came home, he sent a text message and the text message reads essentially he was um, paraphrasing Essentially, he was just waiting to be called to help with the fires, and they never got the call to help. So, they were essentially... Um, We've heard before from others, even a live broadcast, mainstream media, a woman talking about how she couldn't understand her house burned down to the ground, and yet a friend of hers in a town next to hers saw 30 fire trucks, and that town was not on fire, and the fire trucks just sat there. Yes, it seems that firemen are being told to stand down. We know the police are told to stand down a lot. But the other information, and I'm, I'm being rather cryptic and I'm sorry, but the other information was that apparently there's brand new multi-million dollar firefighting equipment sitting around not being used. You know, the latest and greatest firefighting equipment. Instead, the firefighters, as they risk their lives, are using old equipment and shovels. And apparently many are being told to wait instead of helping to extinguish the fires. Comments. So, I highlighted the comments and the highlighting does not seem to have taken. I see comments that I didn't highlight highlighted. Um, it's very bad in San Francisco. The air above is stalled. And I'm going to link below to this video taken by a subscriber who lives in the Bay Area. You take a look at that sky, you'll be coughing.
You'll be coughing. I live 45 minutes south of Paradise. Lots of Jesuits in leadership positions in California State. They are Jesuit mercenaries. I just had a thought. We have rain coming next week, four days in a row at least. We just, <laughs> we just had four days of weather here that, yeah, it's hard. But what's going to happen to the people in the tents? Oh my God, and it has been so, so cold here. The air is freezing. A lot of elderly without homes now. My daughter lives in San Jose. She told me this morning the smoke in San Jose is horrendous, causing sore throats, headaches, nausea, fatigue, burning eyes and such, and the fires are as far away as three hours northeast from her. And residents in the Bay Area are wearing masks. A subscriber in North Carolina who had left a comment a couple of days ago underneath a video saying that she got a message, an automated uh, message from Duke Power, that's our power company here, Duke Power stating that there may be power outages for an extended period of time due to winter storm Avery. When did we get our power companies telling us ahead of time you may be having a power outage. We just had power outages. Now we get warnings. So, um, and she felt that it was just predictive programming. And the message that, and if I can recall correctly, she was saying that Duke Power was saying, you know, have a plan make sure you know what to do. Or it, it was a really kind of bizarre message. So, she thinks, and so do I, that this winter is going to be very bad. And many people will have power outages. Get a generator. If you have the money, get a generator. Um, and I've also gotten comments from people who are saying their utility bills are really skyrocketing. But she also writes, and this is in North Carolina, um, they didn't salt any of our roads in our town at all. They were a solid sheet of ice this morning, and that is the first time I've ever seen our county not prepare. Go overboard, really. That's what the county usually did. No preparation for this storm that they knew was coming. I was flabbergasted on my way to work at 4 a.m. this morning, never in my life have they never salted any roads in the county upon uh, well in advance of a forecast of inclement weather. Hearing others in numerous states are having the same issue is suspect. I believe they are conditioning us and will put out, pull out all of the stops this winter wreaking mayhem in the east, fires in the west, flooding and uh, snow in the east. If you are near Chico, California and are aware of what's going on like me, please contact 
me. I'm tired of being online and we need to band together. And this person gives her name. She's on Facebook. And she is a sheep no more. That's her username on YouTube. She gives her email address. Shit's getting real. And that was underneath my video, California Fires, the video that I posted today. The air is... I can't see the full title of my video, but it was the one that I posted earlier. So when the hell are we going to rise up, people? What more do we have to take before we stand the hell up? We wouldn't tolerate this shit from some random person or neighbor or whoever, but we seem to let these assholes do whatever the hell they want. It's been passed enough with all the shit that's been going on in this country. We certainly do know an awful lot that we are at war, and unfortunately there are a lot of awake people that have uh, no intention of becoming active. That's unfortunate, but it's true. There's a lot of you in California, an awful lot of you, and I know other subscribers in Chico, if you could just contact one another, see if you can pull something together, see if you can organize. Um, and on that video that I posted, does do people not know what brackets are in a quote? It means that you are putting in the word that they didn't use. The bracket means that word is not a part of the quote. So I get this. He did not say too many. He said so many. Meaning Brown. Governor Brown saying um, so many people in the space. <laughs> All right, so I wrote too many. Now in capital letters I get this. He did not say too many. He said so many. He did not say paradise. False title for views. Shame on you. Brown is evil, but so is deception. Truth is ground zero. Truther, never lose truth. Nuff said, laughing hysterically. Done with this channel. Ciao. Asshole. I'm so tired of people. I am so tired of people. I cannot tell you. And there's so many of them. And their effect generally is they have this fabulous way of pulling down those who are really desperately trying to stay up. Um, I cannot believe our own government would kill its own people. Can it not be China or Russia doing this to California? I understand what Agenda 21 is, but it's but are the fires because of Agenda 21 or foreign government? Understand that the leaders of certainly the major con countries, they're all working together. Agenda 21 is not just happening in the United States, it's happening all over the world. Our government certainly has the lasers, but would they use them on us and why? This is a different um, viewer or subscriber, people are waking up. Unfortunately, we're not on the same page, and a lot of a lot of you who are just waking up, you're going to have to do a lot of digging and doing a, a lot of research. You can check my videos. You can check other channels. You can. Put in Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, um, depopulation. Put in these uh, words into search bars 
and you will find an awful lot of people who have done the research have videos that they posted on that research so that you can understand what is taking place. Yes. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm hanging in. I'm Ooh, no. <laughs> but I'll see you when you get back, no doubt. All right. <laughs> All right. Neighbor. Um. <laughs> so, yes. Our government is not a good government. Our humanitarian, humanitarian acts are bombing and destroying other countries. I got comments from a military mother who, when she heard me say Trump killed thousands of people, um, it was not Trump. It was not Trump. And then talks about Obama, he killing innocent people. Look, <laughs> um, people have to really wake up. Try to work out that confirmation bias in your head. Try to really look at reality for what it is and stop protecting personalities. Be guided by principle, be guided by truth. Your country, the United States of America, is gone. This war has been a boiling frog war for decades, and now they are rapidly destroying us. Um, our government has experimented on Americans, American soldiers, aerosol spraying, in several states, St. Louis, San Francisco, releasing chemicals in New York City subways just to see what would happen. Your government, FDA, approves medications that are destroying people, killing people vaccines that are killing children, destroying the immune system, 5G, 4G, 3G, 2G, 1G, all. Emitting dangerous radio frequency radiation. It's known, the studies even of the telecommunications industry, the studies have shown that cell phone radiation causes cancer in the telecommunications industry. Hid that. Our government allowed cell phone onto the market, cell phones, without doing any studies themselves. Yes, our government. Our government is a fascist government. Corporations in our government merged decades ago. It has been fascist ever since. Our government, those representatives that we have in government, do not represent the people. It's obvious so. Anybody who's still believing that our government's good and it's there to keep us safe and protect us and Well, obviously, they have a problem with reality. They have a problem with, tr with truth. They just don't want to see it. Um, 
Thanks for all you do and the emotion you put into your work. Some people don't like the emotion, others do. So for all of you who are leaving me comments, not liking my tone, oh my god you cursed, I'm done. You know what? I'm really tired. So are a lot of people really tired. If you can't see that we are at war, if you can't see how many people have been destroyed by this war, but you need the message brought to you, I don't know, candy coated in very nice tones, unsub, go, I, I don't need you. You know, some people, I can't stand how Mark Passio sounds. I love it. I love it. Passionate. Angry. Frustrated. All of the above. Wow. That means he's real. And I'm not on here to make you feel good and I'm not on here to put out this information in a tone that you can hear. In regards to waking other people up, <laughs> I've tried every which way. Every which way. All in Great Barrington, my God, I was trying every which way because, oh my God, well, Carol, what you talk about is scary. Excuse me, you're five years older than I am. Adults, aren't we supposed to deal with the scary stuff? The information is what's most important. And no, at this, at this point, I can only give you what I have left. And that's it. Air is so toxic here in Danville, North California. No, not a bird, squirrel, nothing. Well, we are absolutely having life killed off. My daughter lives in Wheatland, California, and offered anyone to stay at her property. That's also underneath the video that I posted earlier. People are offering, so how can we organize this? I'll think of something, but will you think of something too? What would be great is if we had one, one site, one page. I'm not on Twitter and I am not um, tech savvy or social media savvy. But if there could be just one Twitter page um, where those who are offering help can leave a tweet, then I think that might be a really good way to do it. Um, There was a man who watched his family burn up in the car while he was standing in a creek. How do you recover from that? You don't. Walmart, Tent City, and Chico, most are elderly in the 30s at night. They will let it rain next week. It's a humanitarian crisis. And where do you have people who are holding vigils 
like they do for those who die in these mass shooting events. Where are the people, the vigils for all of the people who have died? In California, your neighbors, your fellow Californians. Where are you? How come you're not out on the streets with your candles? Or is it just those who get killed by a gun? All of that is organized and we know it. What are these people going to do that got burned out? What can most of them afford to rebuild? What if litigation ties up their insurance co coverage with this PG&E thing? Agenda 21 and 30, what a mess. It is a major concern. If they did this to California, they can do it anywhere. They've been doing it. They've been doing it for years. And California, you get the fires. Montana's gotten fires. Oregon's gotten fires. Washington State has gotten fires. Not just California. You guys in California, you are absolutely getting... It, I, it seems every fire now gets more and more horrific. But the flash flooding. So they have different methods. The flash flooding has left, no doubt, over one million Americans just this past year with destroyed properties, destroyed homes. Think about Hurricane Harvey. Think about all of the flooding that has taken place in uh, the same area repeatedly. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, New Orleans, Houston, surrounding area, Hurricane Sandy, Northeast, the hurricanes that park themselves off the East Coast, off of North Carolina, all of the flash flooding that occurred from that. It's been happening. So it's not that if they can do it in California, that they can do it anywhere. They've been doing it all over. 2011, Midwest, your tornadoes and your flooding events caused by the Army Corps of Engineers flooded out a million acres of prime farmland to save, to save the impoverished town of Cairo, Illinois. So obvious that it, 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 it's like, you just now, when you encounter so many Americans who refuse to engage with reality, you, you, you're left shell-shocked. We need to do something about this. These evil people are trying to kill us. Yeah. But how do you do something when you have most of your population in a condition of, well, they never got out of seventh grade, willfully ignorant, self-centered, immoral, and don't give a damn. What do you do? And unfortunately, that seems to be the case with people who live in their area, even knowing about Agenda 21 and Agenda 2030. I've experienced it. They have property, they own property, they stand to lose it. Their taxes being raised, rules and regulations, what they can and cannot do to their homes, they're doing nothing. Nothing. So it's not just the willfully ignorant sleeping, it's also there is a apathy and a self-centeredness with Americans. As long as they can just maintain their comfort. Oh, I can look into this, this information. I can 
find out about the truth. But don't ask me to do anything. Not focusing on the obvious fact that snow in mid-November is highly suspicious for this area, I just want to say that the authorities knew about the coming storm here in Rhode Island, and I saw them I saw them prepping salt and dirt piles Wednesday. Nevertheless, they must have been called off duty because there were no plows at night, no salt, dirt spreaders, no nothing. Nothing. I'm in Rhode Island too. I can vouch for the fact that there was no plowing taking place last night or salt being put down. It snowed here last night in southern Massachusetts. What is southern Massachusetts? All right, I lived in western Massachusetts um, for many, many, many years. Northampton, Great Barrington. Um, what is southern Massachusetts? That's the first time that I've ever heard of southern Massachusetts, southern Massachusetts. Are you talking about near like Springfield? Like near Connecticut? Anyway, we got about three to five inches. Snow didn't look normal. It looked like Hollywood snow on a set or something. Boy, have I noticed the snow getting slicker and slicker over the years. I'm in Rhode Island. It amazes me that next to no one notices the difference in the snow. Um, the air quality here in southern Oregon isn't good. had a severe alert today for unhealthy air quality in Portland. Another subscriber. Um, though the skies were bluish and looked okay, they blamed the bad air on wood stoves and other sources. I've yet to see one chimney smoking anywhere in 35 miles. It's not even cold here yet. Something is terribly wrong. Yeah. I live in New York and this was the worst storm I can remember. Wow. So I, I grew up in New York, lived in Massachusetts most of my adult life, and so you didn't get two feet of snow, and it's still the worst storm. So what's happening to the snow? It is very slippery due to the geoengineering ingredients. Heaviest, most treacherous snow I can ever recall. A NASA scientist had warned that the most savage freeze in modern history is about to grip the Earth in an icy embrace as the sun enters one of the deepest solar minimum of the space age. Wanted to post that video. Driving temperatures down to record lows, NASA says we are entering a mini ice age because of the lack of sunspots. Global warming? Hello? The burn areas at are the conservative voting areas. It's not just a conservative liberal thing. You know, liberals are getting whacked up <laughs> northeast right now. Um, the seniors there won't make it through winter. The homeowners won't be allowed to rebuild. I've joined the Nor New California Movement to separate our rural counties from San Francisco, LA, Silicon Valley, and treasonous Sacramento. You might want to join New California State, the New California Movement. Just a few minutes drive in New Jersey took over an hour. I shoveled when it first started. It was light a few hours later. It was like sludge cement, very heavy. New Jersey, just outside of Philadelphia. And true, no snow plows. They did have trucks laying down either dirt or salt. I'm not sure. We had sleet, freezing rain for hours first, which always makes it more hazardous and heavy to shovel. But you're correct, it was very slippery. I almost fell several times on my front walk. 
I saw a video a few months ago about a man bringing in snow and it would not melt. He used a blowtorch on it, it would not melt. He sent it to be tested at a lab and it came back with plastic, small particles of plastic and other chemicals. I noticed when I was living in Great Barrington that I would come in, snow would be on my boots, they would be sitting in the warm home and I would come back like 15-20 minutes later and the snow had not melted at all. No water around the boot. Um, actually, Carol, the air is much worse in the Bay. I live in the East Bay. I drive to Sacramento every Friday. Today, too. It's almost blue sky here. In East Bay, you can't see 10 feet in front of you. Did I mention the video that I will link to below from a subscriber who lives in the Bay Area? You've got to take a look at that sky. We got five inches of winter mix in Virginia. They did not prep the roads here either. We had a week of warning about this stone. What, what the hell's going on? No salt, no dirt, no plowing, no prepping. And they knew in advance this storm was coming. And somebody's going to say, what? But that wasn't deliberate. You got Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Jersey, uh, Pennsylvania, Virginia, North Carolina. I'm going to end with this... Um, comment. Good grief, Carol. If you can't pull a before from Google Street images to after, you are passing on incorrect evidence. We don't want to sound uneducated about fire. Fire cannot pick and choose. If a fire burns a home, it can burn a tree. What you are saying are a few trees that escaped. What you are seeing are a few trees that escaped. It happens. Go to Google Earth and see how many trees are gone. Not all trees burn to the ground. Many were scorched and lost limbs to the fire. 10 to 20 feet up those 50 foot pine trees. I have, a, I have had a real problem with fire can select what it will burn. Our military has magical fires that doesn't burn trees. That is impossible, Carol. It makes people sound nuttier than a fruitcake, and it's taking time or taking away from the very real issues. Please research and go to Google Images. Okay. Um, I'm going to end now because I want to talk to my neighbor. I don't know what to say about that comment. I did write, what are you talking about? Um, oh, it doesn't matter what I wrote. I don't understand some subscribers that have been subscribers for a while and then they write these comments and I'm like, what? Okay. I'm done. Stay safe, everybody. Ciao.